Hi. Hello. Do I have to commit a crime to get your attention? Because I seriously will. Ma'am, I'm really quite busy at the moment. Hey, wait. I know you. I'm pretty sure you don't. Yes, I do. You're Kathy. Kathy Rain. My reputation precedes me in a kind of but not totally creepy way. Aw, oh, come on. It's me, Lenny. Lenny Marks. I'm drawing a blank. Really? You don't remember us playing when we were little kids? Not really. Sorry, buddy. Darn. Well, that's a bummer. Anyway, what can I do for you today? I wanted to ask if you know anything about my grandfather's accident. I really don't know much beyond the rumors. The sheriff may have more information, but even he probably doesn't know anything that isn't in the report. It happened before either of us worked here. Okay, I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff then. Sure thing. His office is to your right. Well, gotta go. Good luck! Oh, and have a complimentary cup of joe if you want. Ah, maybe later. Thanks. Sure thing. See ya. Various notices and a wanted poster. Fax machines, the pinnacle of modern technology. Hey, Sheriff, what's the deal with that bum? What bum? The one in the cell. Oh, I thought it was with you. Well, shit. A bunch of cops lining up for a photo. A medieval fortress near an ocean, probably supposed to be somewhere in Europe. Hey, that's a restricted area. Oh, okay. Sorry. Not their peak hours, it seems. Land of the free. Just your standard coffee maker. What should I do with it? A medieval fortress near an ocean, probably supposed to be somewhere in Europe. Lots of police reports. They all look fairly recent though, nothing older than 1990. Coffee cups, both used and unused. Uh, okay, I guess. Maybe halfway through. That's no good. We're gonna have to cancel lunch today. Again? Oh, man. Your motivation shouldn't be limited by your growling stomach, Lenny. <sighs> if you say so, boss. Oh crap, it's you again. The smartass returns. You have some more crimes to confess? Oh, you know, maybe a felony or two. Wouldn't be surprised. Look, I'm busy here. What do you want? I just have a few questions, that's all. Fine. Go ahead. Do you know what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? He had a stroke in the woods, that's what happened. If that's all there is, why would Sheriff Truman open an investigation? It was just standard procedure. A general occurrence report always has to be filed. I see. Did you know him at all? No, I haven't been in town for long. Man sure has one hell of a reputation, though. It's been over a decade since he was put in that wheelchair, and people still talk about the man he used to be. It's like he was a cult leader or something. Sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Could be, but you know what they say, things too good to be true usually are. Could I have a look at that report? Absolutely not. They are official police documents. Why not? I thought filed police reports are public record. Not in this state, they ain't.
Aw, oh, come on, Sheriff. What's the big deal? It was a long time ago. It would make this girl very, very happy. Are you trying to use flirtation on an officer of the law? Oh, that shit may work on numbnuts like Lenny, but I got work to do. But I'm family. Doesn't that count for something? You consider yourself family? I've never even seen you before in this town. It's complicated. Guess what's complicated? Not to mention illegal. Handing out evidence to anyone who asks for it. Lenny, a little help here? Don't you agree that he's taking by the book too far? Well, uh, boss, she is his granddaughter, really. I don't think it's any... Don't you think I know that? There are rules. Am I the only one in here who cares about the law? Too much coffee? Try not to pop a vein. Do you want to see the inside of a cell? Oh, cuff me, officer. Spare me the torment of your rhetorical questions and veiled threats. <sighs> Just follow the rules like everyone else. I've had enough of this nonsense. Fine. A gold medal of some kind. Just some photo. Nothing special about it. A photo of the sheriff shaking hands with some bald guy in a suit. Probably the mayor. It's always the mayor. I guess somebody's a winner. Tons of miscellaneous files. I don't see anything labeled as police reports, so those must be elsewhere. A potted plant. Looks a bit thirsty. Hey, do you mind if I use this phone here? Sorry, that's not allowed. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? Hey, I need to see the police report from 81 when my grandfather was found by the old sheriff. Hmm. We only keep reports filed after 1990 in here, so I'd have to go check the archives in the other room. If it was up to me, I'd be happy to go take a look, but you heard the sheriff before. I'm sorry, but I can't help you unless he approves it. Ugh, <sighs> fine. Well, gotta go. See ya! Alright, let's see how this plays out. Lenny! Quit loitering and make some goddamn coffee. Ten four, coming right up. Oh, it better be. A jail cell looks cramped. If I ever feel the urge to clean, I'll know where to go. Hey. What? I can't hear you! Thanks! That was getting annoying. Hey. Hi there! So, why'd they put you in that cell? Uh, well, uh, it, it's all just a big misunderstanding. Is that so? Yeah, I, I didn't mean to steal anything. I was just using my pockets to move the beer to the checkout. That's the worst excuse I have ever heard. For your information, I happen to have a deadly fear of shopping carts. I take my last statement back. This excuse is even worse. Hey, it wasn't your father who was killed by a shopping cart when you were eight. Uh, I sure hope not. To be fair, mine wasn't either, it was just Uncle Bob. But that doesn't mean it was any less traumatic, mind you. To this day, I still get nervous breakdowns at grocery stores. I think I've heard enough, buddy. 
You're right. We should stop before the flashbacks begin. Okay, gotta go. See ya! Lenny, for the last goddamn time, stop leaving the locker keys on this table. Always put them back in your desk when you're done. This phone is not here for your personal calls either. The county shouldn't have to pay for your giggly shenanigans. Sheriff. No wanted posters. I'm disappointed. Okay. These must be the archived police reports that Lenny was talking about. Time to start digging. Yes! Found it. August 16th, 1981. Let's have a look. I'm gonna have to get my hands on that recorder. A computer monitor. Probably recovered stolen goods. There's no way small town cops would be that up to date with the modern world. An axe, a sledgehammer, and some other heavy tools. Brilliant idea to leave those lying around next to evidence lockers and locked cells. A big red gas can with a hose. Somebody probably used that to siphon gas. Locker number five is right there, but it requires a key. According to the note on the table, the locker keys are kept in Lenny's desk. A large evidence locker, probably for securing some of the bulkier things. Hi there. You need to keep the blonde cop out there busy for a while. I do? Ten bucks says you do. Hmm. I'd say my services in this matter are worth at least twenty bucks. Nine. Fifteen. Eight. Fine. Ten. Seven. <sighs> Deal. Good. So, uh, what am I doing again? Distract that young cop in the lobby. I don't care how you do it, as long as you keep him occupied for a while. Okay, then. Let me know when. Will do. Okay, gotta go. See ya! Hey, the jail is off limits. You shouldn't be in there. Oh, sorry. I just heard someone yelling. Uh, I think that guy in the cell needs some help. Ah, <sighs> oh, what now? Okay, I have to make this quick. Okay, let's find the key to locker number five. Got it.
All right, got it. Note to self. Remember the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses, a blue violet, and two yellow tulips. I've been working on my research in the attic at night. I just don't want her to worry. She has enough to think about with everything that's been going on lately. With Sharon and Kathy. Anyway, I'm getting close to finding the source. I have a promising new theory. It should be ready for a test soon. Hey, uh, Kathy, wait. What? Do you eat foot? I, I mean, food? Absolutely not. I feed on human misery. I, uh... Relax, Lenny. Yes, I do eat food. Oh, well, great. Can I buy you food sometime? And also buy food for me? And, and then maybe we can eat the food together? I'm really busy right now. Maybe later. Oh, okay. See ya. <laughs>